What's up, y'all? My name is Kyle, and I'm engaged to Megan. And I'm Megan, and I'm engaged to Kyle. My name is Sarah Ferreira. And I'm Jairo Diaz. And we are engaged. Awesome. No. Hi, no, that was perfect. Okay. You who approached who first? What happened? Would you like to explain this or me? I'm gonna explain it. So we're in class together and you know, she seemed really smart because she's always answering her questions and stuff. And I come out to her um, outside. I was passing by her and I was like, hey, how are you? And she looked at me and went, good. And kept walking. I was focused. No. Academically. She was great. No. We worked through it. Okay. But no, sure. he, he, he approached me first and said hi. And then I think when we actually started dating, um, I probably had a little more interest first and kind of like initiated things and conversations. Yeah. But he won't admit that he liked me and he did. 100% he did. Uh, one of my friends was talking to um, Sarah on the side, um, leaving from church. And I was like, okay, I've seen her before. This is going to be an opportunity to talk to her. And so I go up and dab with my friend. I'm like, how you doing? And then, how you, who are you talking to? And it's like, um, her and another friend of hers. And I'm like, oh, hey, my name is Haido. Uh, nice to see you. We're hosting Taiwan School. And you guys are welcome to come. And then that's how I kind of invited her over to, to Sabbath School. All good relationships start from Sabbath School. That was the time where we were all still wearing masks. So when I was introduced, or when you introduced yourself to me, all I remember was, your beautiful eyebrows and your eyes and that's all I was going off from and I was like hmm interesting he's kind of cute what is your partner's love language my partner's love language is um, time I do like taking a lot of your time I'd say physical touch and quality time those are the top two yeah physical touch definitely what's your second one I I feel like second one is, did you say time? So she wants a lot of quality time um, for me to be um, with her, engaging and spending time with her. Quality time, yeah. Oh yeah, you were right then. I yeah, was right. So. Anyway, um, ours are completely different, so we've had yeah. to learn to adapt to that. It's been... It's been a journey for that, yeah. for sure. What are mine? I would say, honestly, it's time as well, but it's hard because there's times where you really want to hang out, like me, and there's times where you really just want to be on your own, doing your own yeah. thing, watching Netflix or whatever. Hers, yours is, I should know this. It's, uh, <laughs> isn't it quality time? Yeah. Words of affirmation, yeah. words of affirmation, words of affirmation. If your partner was a, a cartoon character, who would they be? Hmm. All right, I, I'm thinking maybe Kim Possible. No, I'm kidding. Did you even watch cartoons growing up? That's insane. That's insane. Yes, I did. Like what? PBS was lit. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, there was so much. You know what I'm saying? There was so much. What did I? Wait, let me change it. All right, you'll be the Power Powerpuff Girl with the pink. <laughs> Does Dory count? As a cartoon. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say he's Jerry from Tom and Jerry. He's always up to something. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess. Who gets more emotional during movies? Heido for sure. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's you. That's keep my macho persona on. <laughs> Guys, come on. 100% um, me. You think, he, yeah, I just. We will, we will watch movies and it'd be so funny. She'd just be like, that's true. I don't laugh. Even like scrolling through I'm Instagram, dying. he'll send me so many things. And I'm just like, I'm on the floor. L -O -L. What? How should healthy couples resolve arguments? It's a very good question. I think number one, healthy couples should have arguments. Yes. I remember the first time we argued, and I thought, man, is this the one for me? Like, should I break up with her? Is this like, is this a red flag? But like. Couples argue. You don't have to always agree, but know that you're a team and no matter what, you should be, you know, working together to reach the same goal. But what's the best way to argue? Not at night. Not when your emotions are everywhere. Uh, there is, yeah. 
I, I, we don't like to, like, we don't like to end our day in an argument, but there are some times that we're like, we can't figure this out until tomorrow. He's the type of person where he needs to like time to cool off and think through his response. And right. I'm the, and I'm always like, let's get it done now. Let's talk about it now. Let's figure it out now. Right. And he'll be like, let's just take a second. Do you so really want to do that right It takes, really <laughs> it takes compromise, I think. Yeah, and knowing your partner. Yeah. What tip would you share with a college couple learning the roles of being a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Have fun, take it easy, don't be pushy at all, don't, um, you know, step on toes or anything, don't push boundaries that you shouldn't be pushing. Being careful on how much you give when you first start dating. I say that because, like, when you first, at least from my perspective, right, you first get in a relationship, you're just ready to, be like, do the biggest thing for them. You know, you're ready to open the door for them all the time, at least you should be open the door from all the time, getting all these gifts, you know, texting them all the time. But then the problem is like you get to the honeymoon phase and that goes down. And then like, she's gonna notice. So it's like making a balance of making sure, okay, as I get to know you, let me make sure that I like, don't start little and do absolutely nothing. <laughs> but like, remember that eventually the honeymoon phase yeah. is gonna hit and it's gonna the like- The end of the honeymoon phase. The end of the honeymoon phase. Yeah. And it's just gonna like, go down a little bit more. So make it a balance. Once you get past the honeymoon phase, you're gonna have a time where you're probably gonna argue a lot and that's normal, that's okay. It's okay to argue, that means you both care. So don't be, a, don't be afraid to argue, but just make sure that by the end of the day, you are on the same side and you just put aside your differences and accept one, each other, one another for mm -hmm. Who they are. But if it's always arguing, red flags, <laughs> red flags all around, all around. Be happy, laugh. Yes. I would say having grace with each other and being willing to forgive and understand that both of you are gonna have pain in your past and happiness in your past that's going to affect your current relationships. Mm -hmm. And also just when you're dating and like getting to know people, being willing to, you know, talk to people or even go on like casual dates without your mind just jumping to like, am I gonna marry this person? Are they for me forever? You know, just cause it puts a lot of pressure on both you and the other person. And I think like college is a time when you're figuring yourself out. So don't just be willing to overcommit to the first person who shows you attention right out of high school. <laughs> Mercy, that was a good one. Yeah. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. That was not, was not cool. we're doing yeah. All right. When All right, so when it goes down, down. When it goes down. Happy Valentine's Day. And we're going like this. Happy Valentine's Day. We're going to show the people. Beautiful. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. You forgot your hand. So just hands out like this. Happy Valentine's Day. You could form a heart. Oh, oh yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, 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 o